in this video, I'm going to show you how to conduct an ANCOVA. So once we have our data in, you simply go to the analyses and then go to ANCOVA. And we'll select our dependent variable, which is distance. We'll select our independent variable, which is fatigue. And we'll select our covariate, which is time. So that's it. The DV, the IV, and the covariate, and hit calculate. And what you'll see here is um, the assumptions of that ANCOVA are preloaded. And here we're looking at a QQ plot. To understand that plot, simply scroll over it. And you can see where it looks more normal or more not normal. We also have homoscedasticity. Again, you can scroll over to see whether it looks more homo or heteroscedatic. Outlier analysis, covariate IV independence homogeneity of regression slopes, and then the results. The results of the ANCOVA were significant, indicating that there were differences uh, among the values of fatigue. Okay, on we're looking at distance by fatigue while controlling for time one. And there's our APA-like table. And you can see the, that there is a difference uh, by fatigue. This is the effect size. Okay, And you can see the plot of what's happening marginal means, and then it even does the post hoc test. So here we can see that for the, the main effect for fatigue, the mean of distance and miles um, for low was smaller than for high, and the mean distance of mild to moderate was significantly smaller than high. So basically what we found is that um, high fatigue just differed uh, from both low and moderate. And that's how you conduct an ANCOVA.